What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today we're talking about what's new in iOS 11.3 Beta 2. It came out a few hours ago, I've been super busy with an internship that I'm participating in, but let's go ahead and check out everything that's new. First off, the battery health features that we've been waiting on for a while are finally live. They, uh, they've they been pretty highly anticipated. Tim Cook teased them, Apple as a company teased them. We knew they were coming, they're giving us a more transparent look at our battery. You can find them on the iOS 11.3 Beta in settings battery and there is a new tab here called battery health and Apple notes that it is a beta feature right now. It's going to show you at the very top after telling you a little bit about how iPhone batteries work and how they are rechargeable and they don't last forever, the maximum capacity that your battery can be charged to. I have an iPhone 10. I was actually kind of shocked to see that it's already down to 99%. This has been out for just a couple of months and the iPhone 10 is now at 99% or at least my iPhone 10 is at 99% of its original charging capacity. So I'm not really to notice a difference day to day but it will technically be a little bit worse than when i got it and then down below that it, it talks about peak performance capability and this is just saying your battery is currently supporting normal peak performance for me so because my battery is not degraded past a certain point my experience is going to be totally normal however if you have an older battery and it's been degraded past a certain point you might see a message saying your battery's health is significantly degraded an authorized apple service provider can replace the battery to restore full performance and capacity Capacity, and you can learn more about the service options by tapping on the link. This is a screenshot from Apple's official site. It definitely looks like this feature is still in development. It's clearly labeled as a beta feature right now, and I'm sure as the betas continue to happen and as we approach the final release of iOS 11.3, we will see more features and details here in the future. So this new battery tab is definitely the focus of iOS 11.3 beta 2, but there are quite a few changes as well that are pretty cool. First up, if we head over to the App Store, there is a new splash screen when you open up the app for the first time after updating to iOS 11.3 beta 2 or presumably the public release of iOS 11.3 in the future. It says, welcome to the App Store. Every day or today, editors take you behind the scenes of your favorite apps and games. Head to the Games tab for what you need to be playing now. And on apps, you'll find your next home screen must-haves. Really good writing there. I appreciate it. It gets me excited about the App Store. Down below, you can tap to see how your data is managed. That's a privacy icon that tells you about what parts of your privacy the App Store will have access to or use from time to time and hitting continue will take you to the today page of the app store. This is a change that seems kind of random. I didn't really miss a splash screen in the first place, but it's a nice way to remind people that, hey, we're featuring new apps and games every single day in the Today tab, and then you can also go to Games and Apps tabs to find some of the apps that we think you should be using. Following that is a new feature inside of the Media Player view, or when you 3D touch on the like now playing icon or area in Control Center. As you can see here, you finally have the ability to change multiple devices and their volumes. If I have my AirPods connected right here, I can actually turn the volume up and down just on those, in addition to also altering my iPhone's volume if I want to. Before it just took over, like the device the AirPods would take over the audio controls for your phone, but if you wanted to change the volume on your iPhone, you couldn't until you disconnected the AirPods. So I'm glad that we're finally seeing this feature. I feel like this definitely plays into a part of AirPlay 2, which will allow you to adjust the volume on a number of devices. Like if you have a couple HomePods in your home, you'll be able to manually adjust the volume of them individually rather than all of them at the same time to the same volume. So this is a super great change, and I'm really excited to see this as part of iOS 11. 11.3. While you're using Safari in iOS 11.3 beta 2, Smart Invert is now a little bit smarter, so it will not invert images and videos, which is an annoyance that I've had with Smart Invert for a while. If you want to use that dark mode, true dark mode for the iPhone 10, or even a semi-dark mode for other devices, if you went into Safari with it enabled, all the images and videos would still be classically inverted. So in iOS 11.3 beta 2, that has been fixed, and it definitely makes the Smart Invert feature more usable in Safari. Inside of the Messages app in iOS 11.3 is part of the new messages in iCloud feature. When you try to delete a conversation now, it will give you this definitely in beta pop-up that says, hey, are you sure you want to delete this? It's like part of iCloud, letting you know that I believe it will delete it on all of your devices instead of just on your iPhone or whatever device you're using. And finally, when you head over to the podcast application and you try to play an episode, when you tap on an episode, it no longer jumps to the details view where you have to hit play a second time. 
it now just instantly plays the podcast, which is a logical change and something that I'm really glad to see. And as of right now, those are all the changes inside of iOS 11.3 beta 2, but as always, if new changes are discovered, I'll be sure to update the blog post linked down below in the description. If you enjoyed watching this, it does mean a lot to me. Feel free to drop a like down below. That would help me out. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can head over to iUpdateOS.com merch. I just added some new stuff there. Support there has been really great. I genuinely appreciate that. And for now, I've been Sam. Hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.